I'd like to share with you a little bit about the animals that I grew up with. Now you may think, oh, this is very, very boring, but no, this is quite interesting. All of the animals with whom I grew up were fat. Now I'm not being mean, they were fat, all of them. Of course, your reaction is probably, well, that's because you did not know how to feed them, Bo. Uh, portion control, you know, sizes, you know, don't, don't load up their, uh, their, their, their kibble, you know what I mean? Nope, no matter what you did, they were fat. D'Artagnan was one of my, uh, my favorite little dogs. He, I was actually owned by my sister Genevieve. He was a Cocker Spaniel and he had big, fluffy, drooping ears. And the reason why he was called D'Artagnan, in case you don't know, that's a character in The Three Musketeers. And D'Artagnan was one of the fellows with, the, you know, the giant wigs back then. And his ears looked like a wig. Isn't that brilliant? D'Artagnan. And he was just this fat little Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> uh, when he, whenever he'd wake up from a nap, you'd kind of push him to sort of wake him up. And, and his cheek would be pressed up against the linoleum floor. And when he'd wake up, his cheek was still sort of shaped like, like the floor. So for the first few minutes of him walking around, he'd sort of, his face would kind of look like this. Oh, poor little dog. We just gave him such a bad time. But a sweet little guy, even though he had mental issues, he'd sneak into the living room and, and poop in there and something like that. And we'd have to discipline him, you know, shake a can of rocks to scare him back into the kitchen. And he'd run back and just kind of sit there like, I didn't do anything. And there's just a big steaming pile of poo in the middle of the living room. We also had a lot of cats growing up. I love cats. And I think a lot of people who hate cats, they just probably had a bad experience with them growing up. Uh, like a cat bit their face or clawed their finger or killed their child or something like that. But for me, I had a wonderful experience with cats. One of my favorite cats, his name was Starbuck. He was black, like a coffee bean, hence Starbuck. He was a big cat too. Reminded me of a panther. So big, in fact, that one day I showed up, uh, pulled up in my little minivan, which was my first car, uh, pulled up in my minivan, hopped out, and there was Starbuck. And he was sort of laying on the lawn, and I was like, oh, is he hurt? He's not moving. Usually he gets up and he trots over to you, and you can pet his little soft head. I was like, wow, what, what's going on? So I kind of walked up, and I was like, Starbuck, are you okay? Yes, I talked to the cat. And he sort of looked up and blinked at me with, with sleepy, happy eyes. And then from underneath his little sharp paws, out darted this this flapping, screeching creature that went <laughs> sounded exactly like that. It was a duck. Yes, our cat caught a full-grown duck. In case you've ever tried to go duck hunting, it's extremely difficult to outsmart these little things. Uh, it, it is. Ask a duck hunter. That's why duck hunting is like the elitist sport. Wow. But he caught a duck. He was just an incredible little cat. And if you're, in case you're wondering what happened to the duck after he let it go, after he looked up and smiled at me, uh, he took off after it. And the duck flew about three feet off the ground. And this little panther was sprinting after this duck, jumping up and down like every every other step, swiping with his massive paws. And uh, until finally he got the duck. And I, I don't know what happened to it, but he had a lovely supper that evening. He didn't kill any of the other animals, like D'Artagnan, even though he could have killed him, probably. Uh, we also had sheep. I grew up with sheep and chickens. Chickens were really stupid. I really didn't like the, the chickens. Uh, but they were fun, nonetheless. I just didn't like them because they weren't soft and fluffy and cuddly, like cats, dogs, and sheep. No, I didn't cuddle with the sheep. I'm not that weird. But the, even the sheep were fat. And we didn't feed them anything, like grain, uh, maybe alfalfa every once in a while, but not nearly as much as, as our neighbors did with their sheep. And yet the sheep shearer would come maybe once or twice a year to give the sheep a haircut, which is hilarious, by the way, to watch a sheep getting a, a buzz cut. 
it's the most pathetic thing ever. Just these big, giant, fluffy marshmallows just kind of sitting there with, with four little legs sticking out and their faces just traumatized by, what are they gonna do to me? <laughs> and, and you give them a haircut and then off they'd run and they'd get all, they'd, they'd look all naked. Uh, but these sheep were so, so fat and the sheep shearer would show up and he'd be like, what are you feeding them? And we'd be like, grass? It's like, yeah, sure you are. It's like, no, look, they're in a pasture with grass. That is all they eat. And uh, yeah, yeah, I felt kind of bad because every time you tried to shear them, they were so fat, sometimes you would sort of nick them as if you were shaving yourself, kind of nick yourself. Uh, even though they probably didn't care, but still, I felt bad for the little sheep, little fat sheep. <laughs> so I loved animals growing up, still do love animals. Uh, I, I, I could never probably bring myself to go hunting for animals simply because, well, I like to say I have a very big heart. Other people would just say, you're a wuss. <laughs> but no, one time I had my BB gun and I went outside and I tried to shoot a little bird. It was really annoying. And uh, I was a really long ways away. We're, we're talking like 30 yards for a BB gun that missed quite a bit with no scope, just iron sights on it. And I, I, I just kind of was like, I wonder if I can hit that little bird. Brought my Daisy Red Rider BB gun up to my shoulder and I pulled the trigger. And if you've ever shot a Daisy Red Rider BB gun, you'll know that these things are not very powerful. You can see the BB coming out and going in an arc down. But I was really good. I, I could like gauge and be like, okay, if I aim like three feet above the guy, I'll probably hit him. And I did. I hit him right in the head. It didn't kill him. No, as a matter of fact, the BB went through one eye and then out the other. So now I had this little black bird who was previously extremely annoying, but now he was just the cutest, most pathetic little creature ever. And he was just kind of hobbling around the yard, running into things. Oh man. So, uh, I don't know how old I was, maybe 10 or 11, but I remember going into the house just in tears. It's like, Mom, Mom, I tried to kill a little bird. I shot his eye out and then, oh. And then my dad came home and he, he healed the bird somehow. Although to this day, I never actually saw that bird alive again. Uh, but he made him better and he made him go away. Yeah, yeah, right. So moral of the story is, no matter how hard you try, some people just have fat animals. And if you're going to shoot a little black bird, be sure to shoot to kill. Use a shotgun. <laughs>